know it's daytime now. And now it's time to pull solenoid out. But I'm gonna clean all that up first and then pull that out. See if maybe it's just a bad solenoid. I'm not really sure. Alright, right, that's the old one out of there. Here's that. And here's my new one. So, I want to check it out. This is brand new. It's not one of my used ones, so. But, we're going to see if it works. I'm going to put it in there and find it out. Got it in there. Just need to hook up the battery. And hope the guy that starts. I'm not sure if it's going to. I tried the solenoid. It's still doing the same thing. Uh, so the solenoid's new. The battery's new. Everything's cleaned off. The engine's not seized because... I have got it started, I just had to help it through that tough spot. Next thing has got to be, it's got to be the, the starter. So I'm going to take it off, clean it up, and possibly get a new one or a rebuild. Homemade pulley puller. I actually made it for the steering wheel on my blazer. It just so happens to fit there. Now the question is, right, well, I got the starter off there. I couldn't get the flywheel off, so it was kind of a pain in the ass to get that to that bolt that's back there. <clears throat> it was pretty nasty in there. It was pretty gummed up. I can't really see it. Still can't see it. Yeah, anyways, I cleaned it all out. <laughs> cleaned this was just, just full of crap. and I mean, it wasn't even grease. It was just powder and just nasty stuff. But I cleaned it all out and cleaned off. Everything on here. I ain't gonna take this off because last time I did, I couldn't get the brushes back on one. So, yep, I'm gonna take care of all that and put it back together and see if she goes. Well, got it back together, got it on there. I did fire it up. Starter's still weak, but it's uh, it's a lot better than what it was. Um, I'm gonna eventually have to get a new starter for it. But we'll fire it up. Should start. Like I said, I just had a run, so let's see. is off of there. I need a new muffler. I don't know. I doubt I want to run it like that. Burn up something. Sounds cool, but I seriously don't think I should run it like that. But, yeah, so, like I said, you can see how it just seemed like it was real tight. didn't seem like it wanted to turn over, but it didn't do too bad. I mean, when the muffler is on there, like I said, it's a little clogged, but when it is on there, it's actually pretty quiet. But yeah, right on. All right, well, I tried to throw a little battery on the charger just to see, um, and it's it's dead. It won't even hold a charge. So I can't see it. I got it on my truck right now. Putting a little bit of juice in the battery so that that battery charge will kick, and then I'll put it on a two amp charge for a while. Put it on a slow charge and see if uh, see if that does any good. But, yep, I would have taken it out if I get the battery for it today or not. Take it out and cut my backyard. Yeah, it seats pretty bad. But take it out and cut my backyard and see how it does, see how long it lasts like that. And I'll uh, take some degreaser and spray it all in there and clean that all out and clean this thing off. and. Wash all that crap there up and 
throw it back together, but I want to cut a yard with it first before I do all that because I want to make sure that nothing's going to go awry. I guess if that battery doesn't want to work at all, I know it looked kind of goofy, but I think I might stick that battery on here. I'll make a rack for it back here because I don't haul anything with it anyway, so. And, uh, yeah, I'll do it that way. I'll go to AutoZone and pick me up some little tab deals. I don't know what they're called, but I can disconnect the battery real easily. So, it'll, uh, in the evenings when I park it, or whenever I park it, I'm able to uh, take the battery off of there and bring it in and throw it on a trickle charge just to make sure it stays charged up. But freaking right on, dude. Got me a good mower now. I mean, it's not pretty, but it runs.